Well, welcome back everybody to a very overcast, dreary, and kind of cold day here in Florida. So, on today's agenda, man, it, it rained all day yesterday, it's cold and damp today, but looking at all this texture, it looks dry. He told me once, the, uh, the owner of the drywall company told me once that this stuff bleached out white, the same color as the wall, that it was 100% dry. And then and only then should you paint it. Because if you were to paint this knockdown while these dots were still odd colored and damp, he said as they dry, they're going to uh, shrink up a little. And if you already have paint on there, he said it'll scrunch the paint up and will not look good. So best I can tell, everything looks good. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on the house. Double check that it doesn't need to dry anymore. <clears throat> now the good news is, it is nice and warm in this house. The temperatures just stayed a steady temperature with all this insulation that we have. When it's cold outside, it feels warm in here. When it's hot outside, it feels cool in here. You can tell it's just staying at a nice even temperature. But let's go ahead and get paint going. I wanna start with the ceilings. We're just gonna do a standard white on that. And then we'll see if we can get into doing the walls. We have a nice green for that picked out. Um, ultimate goal here is get paint on the walls so we can start putting receptacles in, light switches in, and the HVAC company can come back and finish because we want to get power turned on to this house ASAP. I cannot wait to get power. Let's get to work. So I got my paint gun all primed up. This is probably gonna be very hard to see because I've got all the windows and doors taped up. But we're just gonna start with the ceiling, get the whole ceiling painted white, let that dry a little while. I'll try to cut it in today and move on to the wall coloring that we'll put up as well. So let's see how well this works out. I'm gonna have to keep the camera far back because I don't wanna ruin my lens with all the overspray of paint. I hope this goes nice and quick with the sprayer. This is the beauty of spray painting now because Nothing's in here to get paint on it. Take the stuff up, I could paint the entire house. Now yes, we're gonna wind up dinging and messing stuff up and marking it as we continue to build through the, the house. That's why I'm gonna save paint and I'll just do touch up paint at the end. So much easier to paint now with no cabinets, no nothing up. At least in my mind. Y'all may be telling me I'm messing up. I don't really know. So one issue that we're gonna have, and I already knew this coming into it, by me doing the rounded over corners, the bull nose as they call it, 
it is hard to make a transition on paint. So we want the ceiling, the traditional white, which we have, but we want this to be a green color. So because there is no sharp corner here, it makes it extremely difficult to figure out where to do a break in the paint. I wish I could take credit for this, but the uh, drywall owner talked with me about this before we ever even got to this point, and he made a suggestion on something to do. So the drywall company owner asked if I had a level, a laser level. I said, yeah, I do. He says, set this up, shoot you a line perfectly across to where you won't need it, then go back with some blue painter's tape, paint across that laser line, and then you've got you a nice, clean, straight line to spray and give you a good, clean break between that white and the green paint. I think it's a good idea, assuming that bullnose is perfectly level, and I have my doubts that it's perfectly level, so let's see. All right, so I'm gonna raise the lift up until I can get that green line shooting across that bull nose. So, now that I have this line perfect, and boy, did I am shocked at how level this ceiling is right here. So I could go along and either cut this in with a brush right now, or, I'm gonna try putting some tape up and we'll see how it looks. All right, so this painter's tape is not sticking as well as I would like. I have a feeling I'm just gonna blow it right off with the sprayer. I think I'm gonna grab a little three and a half inch roller and roll me a good strip of paint right there and make for sure I spray from the high side so I don't get none underneath on the ceiling. That may work out, that may not. I'm even thinking about painting the ceiling a second time, so if I get a little overspray on this, I don't know that I'm too terribly concerned. Okay, so here's one of those situations where you step back and punt. Yeah. So it is dark as can be in this house, especially now that, well, walls are green, absorbing the light. But I'm going to try to give you all best look as I can and explain what the heck is going on. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and let you all know. I'm looking through the camera right now and I'm looking in person. This is not as minty green as the camera's showing. There's a lot more hunter green in it. I don't know why it looks so minty green on camera, but it is not. As dark as that looks over there is how this wall looks in person, and then that looks even darker than what the camera's showing. So, um, no, it's not It's not mint. So, green goes good with, keep in mind, you're gonna have bright, light wood floors, you're gonna have light wood cabinets, and you're gonna have light wood pine ceilings. Green goes great with that light wood color. So we kind of for sure wanted green. We've looked at a lot of homes with it. We like it. Problem was we couldn't find a sample that we liked in the stores to save our lives. But that's not what we're talking about. We're going with this green. It is what it is. And I promise y'all it does not look like it does on camera. All right, so here's where I'm struggling. Y'all are not gonna be able to pick it up on camera, but this wall is streaky. And I've been trying to figure out what the heck's going on. And believe it or not, I now have three coats of paint on this wall. What little bit I just showed y'all is five gallons of paint that I paid $300 for at Sherwin-Williams. 
Oh man, oh man, I'm gonna be twice as much in paint as I had budgeted for, but it is what it is. So not only have I sprayed a thick coat this way, I come back and sprayed a thick coat this way, and then I come back and sprayed one more coat. I still, to my eyes, see streaks in the wall, and I was trying to figure out what the heck it is. Now I know what it is. The reason I was spraying horizontal was trying to cover those streaks up because I thought it was paint streaks the way I was spraying. That's not it at all. I remembered, remember all the screws that we had? They went and put spackling over all those screws. And if you look at the patterns that I'm seeing, everywhere they put sheetrock mud or spackling, the paint looks beautiful. Everywhere that there's none of that, that's where the paper is. And everybody's done forewarn me, fresh sheetrock is super absorbent and it's sucking this paint in. So the other problem is I'm just not getting a good thick coat out with that sprayer. Sprayers are fast. They make a heck of a mess. The whole floor is green. Everything is green in here. They make a bad mess. And sometimes fast is not the answer. So how I'm going to step back and punt. I'm dogging this job off. I'm out of paint anyways. I've called and ordered some because they're running very low. And I'm going to roll this entire house. As much as I hate rolling, I actually did a little bit of rolling earlier, as y'all seen on camera, when I was trying to cut that line in and it went on beautiful. I thought because we had this heavy texture, the nap of the roller wouldn't get down in it. It did great and it put a nice thick coat on. So I think that's gonna be the answer to, the prop, to my problems here. I also may go ahead and spray all the open walls that are left with a Kills primer, since it's a sealer and primer. That should help with absorbing some of the paint and Kills is quite cheap. Uh, probably should have did all the walls with that first. I think some of y'all have already recommended that, but keep in mind these videos are delayed, so by the time you recommend something, I'm usually already into the project. But I will hear whatever else y'all have to say, suggestions for the house. Keep in mind by the time y'all watch this video, I've already done went and got that paint, probably done primed, and I'm probably already back to painting, but I have a lot more painting to do, so I will gladly take some of your suggestions because it may help me with finishing the paint in the house. Actually, all the bedrooms and pantries and uh, bathrooms are going to be a certain color that we don't even have yet. We're still trying to pick it out. So, yeah, it's time to roll. That means we can take the plastic all off, get some light in here, which should help me see what's going on. And I think I'm going to roll this ceiling in the hallway because I'm noticing a few dry spots as I look, especially with the light coming in the window back there. I think the roller is going to be the ticket to kind of take care of that. Plus, I'm just tired of the mess the sprayer is making, to be perfectly honest with y'all. I think it's time to slow down and uh, just do it right, I guess. All right, so uh, y'all pray for me. I hate painting with a passion. And now that I'm going to roll this in, it's going to take days, literally days, because we still got to go pick out other paint samples. So I'm not going to bore y'all with too many painting videos, maybe two of them. And then we'll try to get back outside and paint. But uh, it's actually been just foggy and misting rain all day long. We got an inch and a half of rain yesterday. Look at this nasty weather. Been like this all day. I'm not going to be able to paint the outside for days and days and days. And let y'all know uh, what happened with the paint situation there. We did get it resolved. All right, I've rambled enough. I'll see y'all back when I start rolling this entire house. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all on the next video. Oh. <sighs>